everyone, welcome to Bob's Training and Decode Solution. If you want the best mock interview experience in North America, feel free to check us out at bob'straining.org. If you would like to receive the latest tech interview news, feel free to subscribe to our WeChat here. And also feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we would uh, constantly posting solutions to leak code or any other stuff. Okay, so today we're going to talk about one relatively simple problem called reverse integer. So give me an integer like this. So they want you to return it uh, reversed. Uh, for example, there will be negative integer. So this looks very simple, right? You just have a while loop and then just keep adding it up from the um, from the from the rightmost digit to the leftmost digit. However, actually lead code asks a few very good questions, like if it's 110, so do you actually want the leading zero or not? So the problem is actually you don't want the leading zero. Um, the answer is, so you can just uh, keep just adding them. And um, let's see, uh, I'm just, currently I'm just thinking, what happens if they, they actually want you to have the leading zeros? Well, of course, what you can do is uh, convert everything to a string, right? <laughs> and then just the, uh, and it just reverse the string. But if they do want the leading zero, it seems to be adding it up, doesn't really, doesn't really help you here because you will lose the, the leading zeros. Or what you can do is you just keep adding it up for a uh, special case, how many zeros you have, right? And then you just keep counting it. And then, and then after it reverse back, you just put it back. That will also work. Um, Okay, another thing we need to case, keep in consideration is basically the uh, the overflow case. So whenever you deal with the integer manipulation, you will have an overflow possibility. So one way to solve this is always using a larger container. For example, if you're dealing with int, you want to use a long to just cap it. If you're using long, you probably want a long long or a big integer or something like that. Um, all right, so let's let's do this. Rever reverse. Mm, what I normally do is x copy goes to x and then x copy equals x copy minus one. So I always want to deal with a positive integer. So wow. You always want to get the latest one. And then So here, when you're doing this, right, so you always times 10 plus the digit. So if what we want to do here is just directly return zero, like the code suggested, else. So we actually got a number back. We want to return. So because we keep the um, we kept the sign, and then this is a long. So we want to cast it to an int. This is a safe pass. Okay, let's see. Um, for some normal cases like one ten, this should be this should be working fine. So if uh, you have a a negative case, I already kept the sign, so I casted it to a long, so they should be well casted. It should not overflow in any way, and then you just keep adding it up when it is larger than zero, so it becomes one, two, three, and then we get the first one, and then times 10, 32, and then plus one. This looks correct to me, let's see. 
So the time complexity is basically look it through it the once. So it is in the order of O of n of how large the integer is. Oh, wrong answer. Um, input is one, output is zero. Input, yeah, this is also a good case, single digit number. Wow, x o. So we cast the digit out is one result is equal to one larger than minimal less than minimal than zero or else one oh what I'm thinking Res result okay so this is a uh, time complexity in the order of n but another thing we actually I personally prefer to always deal with this but for this particular problem you don't need actually to do it because like for minus mod something, right? So this is equal to minus four. So you don't actually need to distinguish the negative case. And also, um, just always remember, you don't want to ever com compare like two float or double together because uh, there will be rounding errors. You should never do this. And uh, and uh, what uh, in alternative, alternatively, what you can do if you really want to compare the a float number, you can make it like two classes, and then whenever you do the div division, you can compare these two objects um, because everything, or you can just uh, do a epsilon so you can have the absolute number less than a threshold. Threshold. Um, another thing I want to mention out is um, that's pretty much I want to mention out. Okay, thanks for watching.